All right, guys. You know it's gonna be a good day when Cam the Cameraman shows up on time. I've been scouting out stuff all week, and it's finally go time. I've been looking up and down every canal, the water level's down, and the mollies are trapped in the ditch. So we're gonna switch it up, take some little baits, and catch some big fish. Get ready. It's gonna get good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. My life is All right, back up. Uh, nobody there. I just chose to believe that somebody gon' come around and give me just what I need. I don't wanna see you frown and see you looking down and out. Coming to me crying, saying you miss having me around. Gave you chances and you blew it. You so easily influenced all the times you told me beat it. Now you gotta face the music I'm saying. Alright, so everybody knows the first step to catching fish, you gotta have bait. And without the right bait, you're not gonna catch the right fish. So I'm sitting here, I'm working, and I'm looking up and down the canal in the white sand where I know these bull minnows always are, but it rained this morning. And it's ice cold, I can feel the temperature difference, and right away I know I gotta go to my backup plan. We're going to the sailfin molly hole, and we're gonna tear these fish up. Oh, oh man. I don't even know why I went there. I just, Heard a Wally World, it's found Molly World. Sorry, Cam, I gotta get him. Just found like 15,000. It's on now. Look at that. That is thick. Do you see them flicker like that? Have you ever seen, see all that, everything moving? That is, Concentrated bait. It's just all, I mean, it looks like a saltwater school of tuna. Minus the edible part. No. Whatever. Okay, let me think of how I'm gonna do this. I gotta carry the bucket up. We need water. It's gonna be, if I get too much bait, you can never have too much bait, but if I get too much, I need more water. Man. All right, we just turned this into a uh, type of workout program. Look at them flicker. You know why there? It'll be the last time you guys do that. So I'm coming. It's like snowboarding in Florida. Except it's urine and cow dung. Ooh, it's like a break dance. I don't know why anybody buys fish at a store. Watch this. Buy a cast net. Learn how to use it. Do a how to. Whatever, what's that? Boom! What? Meadows! Look at that, look at that! Have you ever seen that many minnows? We've got minnow problems. <laughs> Let the other guys go. Woo! Now we're fishing. Ugh. Think I can. I think I can. Woo! Woo! 
All right, whoa, stab the truck. I need to be alive. Except, I don't see him. I don't feel like I'm alive. Woo. Look, that's called power bubbles. You get this? Real simple, you just throw it up there. Well, this is really important. Give them that little life support system. Drop it in there. Make sure you got power. Then uh, just clamp the red on the positive. Black on the negative. Hear that? Oh, they're coming to life. They love it. Look at them. Look at them jumping out. Oh, a cigarette butt in there. Whatever. Man, they gotta put something over them. They love it so much. We gotta go fishing. Ugh. All right. So we're not going far from here, hopefully. Ugh. Come on, guys. Look at that. Heard a shark tank, minnow tank. Let's go, let's go, let's go fishing. A little bit of water already in the boat, whatever. We're off to a good start, we got bait. All right, so first we tried to catch the bull mud minnows. That didn't go very well. So we went to a, a selfin molly hole. Pfft, one and done, what? So now we're going fishing for everything. If I can get this nut, oh, wrong nut. This spot is like secluded. They're not used to people hitting curves, jumping up and banging through the bushes. So we're gonna try to sneak in, slip in there. Cause a lot of the fish are right here. Like right where we put the boat in. Several years ago, there was a hurricane that blew all these trees in. So we're gonna try to fish this underwater structure. everybody, it's Real Cool Adventures, and we're catching peacock bass in South Florida, right now. So I'm being real gentle because I have a tiny hook because I'm using such a small bait. This is actually a really good fish. Look at it, oh! Wait till you see how he's hooked. This guy, see that hook? It is barely in there, look at that. We got dinner. So I've been to this spot 10,000 million times. I know there's fish here. I've caught fish here so many times, in and out. And there's been times I've come and it's not that good. But this is the reason that we chase and do what we do right here for conditions like this. That is a beautiful butterfly peacock bass. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take the sides off. We're gonna try to keep the smell from a five down to a 0 .05 before we bring it in the house. I'm gonna go ahead and take the sides off. Then we're gonna go inside and we're going to make the best ceviche you've ever seen in your life. So first of all, I'm just gonna come right behind the gill plate like this, okay? Then just gonna come down the dorsal fin, straight down the back, just like that. Okay, and just follow that down. Take the knife, go through, pull it, out the back, and I'm gonna come this way. And there we go. That's the side of a butterfly peacock bath. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take the bones out right here. And the reason I'm leaving the skin on is I don't wanna get any bacteria or anything from the filet table or anything that could be in that hose because we're making ceviche and we're not gonna be cooking it with the oven. We're gonna be cooking it with lime juice and lemon. And that will ensure that nobody gets sick. Just gonna fillet it real simple, just like that. Now we're gonna go, there's one fillet here. There's a the skin. Real fast and easy, throw that aside. 
I'm gonna do the other side, then we're gonna go inside and make ceviche. So I'm just gonna come in from the side. Like that. Just come through the back. These have fairly large, use a little rounded knife, fairly large scales. So you just come through like this. And I like to just take the knife, come to the side there. Almost like you're butterflying a mullet. We're not going to use all of this fish in the ceviche. I'm gonna actually cook the other filet, just pan fry it. But for this, it's hot out here, so I'm trying to fillet it quick and then get it inside, keep it cool. Okay, so I'm just gonna come around like that and out. Now I'm gonna leave the skin on because that way the skin is a shield to the fillet table. It's gonna come in like this, grab a hold of that, just work that knife down. Nice and smooth. See that, it just comes right off that skin. Just go like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep it on there. I'm checking for any bones. Just gonna come down the bloodline, cut that out. We're ready to go inside. There's your filet. Okay. Now we'll see you in the kitchen. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use fairly equal parts. We're gonna use uh, peppers, avocado, uh, tomato, and cilantro. That's your key ingredient. Cilantro. And then Cilantro, excuse me, we're gonna use cilantro. And then we're gonna actually cook that in lime juice. We're gonna go three parts lime, one third lemon, or excuse me, we're gonna use 70% lime and 30% uh, lemon. That's what happens when you can't wait to eat this. Look at that thing. It's the oddball, just like me, we're gonna eat them. So, I have some fresh peppers. And they're fairly sweet. Mm. Cut that part off. Save that for the bird. Yeah. All right, so we have that. And I'm gonna go ahead and dice some of that up right here. Go ahead and chop it up. What I like to do is go this way. If you're gonna go fishing, you could prep all this stuff and take it out in the boat with you. You're really using all this stuff as a filler, okay? Now I'm gonna take an, an avocado that's ripe and I'm gonna cut that off. Go ahead and peel it real quick, simple. I'm gonna cut it into quarters. And I'm just gonna, that'll make it easier for me to peel the skin off. I'll just go like that. And you wanna make sure that avocado is ripe and soft. If it is not ripe and soft, it's not worth using. Now I'm gonna dice this up. Take that, throw that in there. Now I'm gonna take this. Now the cilantro you wanna cut up as fine as you can. I'm just gonna pinch it together. And the cilantro is a distinctive smell. Let's take that aside. About another cup full, but a light, light cup, okay? You stir all that together. Now what I'm gonna do next, I like to do the onions last because onions are like the equivalent of getting maced. You know, you wanna save that for the end. I'm just gonna take this, cut it up. Take the skin off. There. This is a purple onion. Okay, now I'm gonna just shave that guy like that. Keep everything in equal, as equal proportions as possible, except for the cilantro. I'm gonna cut back on that. Now another thing, this is a freshwater fish. I'm going to let it sit for a good hour in the refrigerator. A lot of ceviche, like saltwater fish, people will do it right away. But since this comes out of a canal and, and there's a possibility it have bacteria on it, I wanna make sure that it marinates and it kills all the bacteria. All that citric acid goes and soaks all the way through the fish. So, I'm gonna chop this up. 
And I'm gonna take that, take all the smaller parts, okay? I'm just gonna throw that in there. And it's that simple. Just kinda mix it up. Now, I'm gonna take a tomato. Woo, if I can even focus on that bad boy. And Cam doesn't care for tomatoes, but I'm gonna show you a little trick to make them taste a little better. I'm gonna set, kick that out of the way. You take the tomato and you just scoop the center out, like the so. And we're just gonna use the firm part of the outside rather than the mushy inside part. Okay, I'm just gonna get rid of that because that's gonna water it down. Same concept as everything else. You're just dicing everything up. Get in probably three eighths to half inch chunks. So now I have a bunch of lemons and limes. So first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually use a measuring cup for this. I'm going to put um, one cup of lemon for, and then a third of a cup of lime. Okay, so sometimes you can go like this. Get more juice out of them. Soften them up. What I'm trying to do is get nice, fresh lemon juice. And I highly recommend if you can, if you have a helper. My daughter's not here. Have them cut the the uh, have them cut the onion for you. I'll go ahead and dump that in there. Okay. It's real. This is really simple, easy. Anybody can do it. Um, that's the cool part about it. And it tastes really, really good. I'm gonna do the same thing over with the limes. We're gonna add fish to it. Now, we have our two beautiful, um, what type of fish was this? Peacock bass. Peacock bass. It's peacock bass fillets. It's not fishy at all. And I like to put it on um, a paper towel or something to just soak in any moisture. You don't want a watery, mushy fish in there, okay? So what that'll also do is it dries out the meat and that's gonna enhance the flavor. It's just gonna let it soak everything in. It's like, like a big straw. And I don't even need that other one. This is gonna be plenty for what we're doing here. So now, I'm gonna double check it. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna cut off this white stuff. Now I'm gonna do the same concept as I did over there. I'm just gonna take this filet and I'm gonna cut it this way into little fingers. Almost like you're doing a sushi, but on a smaller scale. Okay, I'm gonna take that fish, throw that in there. Now, it doesn't matter how much fish you put in there. You can put as much as you want. There is no ratio to proportion with the fish. I'm gonna add as much fish until I see that lemon juice start to, I don't want it sinking down in there where you're scooping up lemon juice. I want it where it's almost like mud, the consistency of uh, fish muck, if that's even a thing, but that's what we're gonna do. Now that bloodline right there, I don't want that in there. I don't mind it, but if you're prepping this for somebody, there's, you know, it might grow some out. I think I'm gonna take those carcasses tonight too from the peacock bath and dump them in the canal because this wind, we can't see anything in there. And I think we're gonna go back and spearfish it at night, see what's eating it. Really cool. All right, so I've diced this up nice and small. I don't like to use really big chunks. I want it to just soak all the way through, okay? I wanna make sure that it cooks it. All right, and Marshall Burns, you ask, can you post a link to the seeds that make the food taste better? So instead of doing that, well, I'll tell you right now, we got them at Woolbright Farm Market in Boynton Beach, Florida. It's called Woolbright Farm Market. And I'm gonna show you what the trees look like and what the berries actually look like on the trees. So here's the Miracle Berry tree, and they don't have a lot of berries on them. This is a Miracle Berry fruit, and that's what they look like, and they're really slow. This tree took 13 years to grow, so they're, they're very hard to come by. Um, but we, we acquired this one at the Woolbright Farm Market. So I hope that helps you out, Marshall. And what that does, it actually changes your taste buds, okay? So anything acidic tastes like the best food you've ever had in your life. So now we're gonna go inside and we're gonna eat this with the ceviche and you're not gonna believe how this tastes. And I hope that everyone gets a chance to try this out there 
because it's the best thing I've ever had in the world. Cam, you're gonna try it. Cam's never had it before, so we're gonna see. We're gonna get his reaction, Cam the cameraman, and see what you guys think. And hopefully you all get to do the same thing. Ugh. All right, now we've let that sit in there for about an hour, okay? And it's soaking up all the flavor, all the acidic acid. And then the last thing we're gonna do, is now we're gonna take these Miracle Berries, and they actually have a pit in them, okay? And we're gonna take these, and we're going to basically skin them. Put that in there. It almost looks like a grape that fell off the tree and rotted, honestly. But So see that? We take that. We're gonna add that at the end to our ceviche. I'm just gonna dice it as small as we can. Okay, they're really hard to cut up. And I don't wanna put the pit in there because it's real hard and crunchy and you'll chip a tooth and this ceviche will cost you more than going to the dentist. We're trying to avoid that. God knows he's taking all my money. What I'm gonna do now is we're just gonna mix this in, okay? It doesn't take much, about a half a teaspoon. And what that's doing right now is that's going through the acid and literally just soaking in there. You do it at the very end. Miracle berries, miracle fruit, doesn't even last for an hour. So when you do this and get this effect and it chases your, your taste buds and your whole tongue, it lasts for about 45 minutes. And then that's it. And it really makes everything taste sweet and anything acidic tastes amazing. Um, but the problem is, like let's say if you took a Gatorade, if you, if, you're into, if you like Gatorade, you would have to reduce the Gatorade to 50% and add 50% more water to even drink it because it would taste so so bitter and sweet, you'd spit it out. And you can make five Gatorades off of one. That's what this stuff does. So I highly recommend, if you've never heard this or anything, look it up, try it, see if you can come up with them. They make a synthetic one, but whatever. It's not as good as this. This is like grandmother's cookies with the, the sugar and the coconuts and all the stuff that's bad for you. Except this is good for you. Okay, so now we've got our ceviche, and let's say if you're gonna entertain, there's one cool thing you can do. You can take one of these avocados that my mom was hoarding at her house and didn't wanna give up, so I had to go by and take it off the tree at night. And you just spin it like that, okay? Now you have that pit, and you just whack that bad boy off there. Pull that out, clean this out with a spoon. This is an unripe avocado. And the only reason I'm doing this to show you is it kind of looks cool. Let's say if you had a pool party or something, you had people over and wanted to entertain. It's kind of a neat little presentation. We don't have a pool, I just always wanted to say that because I thought it sounded cool. Maybe we'll get a blow up pool soon or something. And I have this here, okay? And I'm going to just simply take our fruit or ceviche, rather. I'm just gonna dab that in there, like so. And you can serve it just like that. Look at that. How cool is that? That look good? Because you're gonna be the one eating it. And if you live, I'll try it. Just kidding, you're gonna love this. All right, here goes Cam. All right, here goes first time having peacock bass. I'm not much of a freshwater fish eater, honestly. Really now. That's really good. That's what do you awesome. think? It tastes awesome. Could you eat that whole bowl in there? Yeah. I love conch salad, ceviche, anything with lemon and lime. Cilantro. How's that miracle berry flavor though? Is that different? That's, that's it. Is it, what do you just describe it? What'd you compare? I don't it? really notice the miracle berry itself. So it's, the thing is, it takes about a minute to kick in and trick your taste buds. Uh -huh. Let it sit for a second. And all of a sudden your mouth is just gonna, you're just gonna crave it. Just, I know that everything tastes but really good. But the flavor tastes so. good as it is now. Yeah, this is awesome. 
very one thing. Hey, be quiet. Oh boy. Good job. I can, I can taste it now. Yeah, Everything tastes like, like sugary. It tastes like sugary. Candy. Hey, please be quiet, bird. This is our show. Yeah, it's like not sour anymore. It tastes like sugar. If you guys like this and want to see more stuff, subscribe, turn the notifications on, and we appreciate everything you're doing. We're climbing so fast right now. Uh, I mean, we're in heaven, and we want to grow with you, and you grow with us, and hopefully you can learn something from what we did today. We had a ball fishing, and hopefully you can take kids or anybody and show them that you have the same advantage as anybody else using those mollies for bait. Look at Cam, he's... I'm about to it's just good. drink this whole thing. You want another bowl? I yeah, told I'm you we were gonna, gonna do that. I'm just gonna drink when it. have you ever drank? <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> it's that good. <laughs> yeah, this is really good. It's insane. It tastes like sugar. It's like candy avocado. <laughs> I'm trying not to shake the camera. This is I've never seen you devour anything like that. Cam's like That's a health awesome. food freak. He used to play football. He likes to watch what he eats. And watching his eyes and thinking about catching a freshwater fish. And this is like guilt free. This food is guilt free. That's why I like hot salads and ceviches. Like I can eat this stuff every day. And with that miracle berry, you could pass that. It's not like eating a big plate of pasta. It makes you feel like a... Look at him. Look at him. Like a warrior afterwards, ready to go. <laughs> All right, well. Take on whatever. That's good. All right, this is little, time for me to get back to work. All right, little warrior. Battleship. <gasps> all right, first of all, thank you. Thank each and every one of you who watched all these videos. Everyone that subscribed, turned your notifications on, everything. Uh, the Deer Meat for Dinner family, thank you so much for inspiring us and, and helping us climb as fast as everything's going. And we'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, we hope this helps you to go catch peacock bass because now you, don't, you you saw today. You don't have to have shad. It's not bigger baits, bigger fish. We've all heard that. Elephants eat peanuts. How about that? So we proved it either. These these minnows, these uh, or excuse me, these sailfish mollies, they live sailfin mollies. They live in every canal in Florida, all over the whole world. They're real easy and abundant to find. You can go to almost any canal, any ditch. Anything with a small body of water that's really warm, and you can just dip that in a scoop them, cast that, or like you saw earlier in the video, you can do the same thing and, and be at the same advantage as anybody else. So I hope that helps you. Uh, yeah, my life is lovely now, I'm focused on me. You said you were about to die, I guess the car is on E. But see, I ain't even tripping, cause I just chose to believe that somebody gon' come.